Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Good evening to everyone there. Good evening, my brothers, my sisters. Good evening to everyone that will be listening to me today. I say good evening to all of you. May the good Lord of our salvation bless you all and I hereby as well cover you all with the precious blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Once again, my name is Pastor Mrs. Unisage of Jesus Power Assembly of all nations, 9,000 gangs. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We have our weekly activities, which is Wednesday. Every Wednesday in this big sanctuary, this great sanctuary of Jesus Christ, we are holding our Bible studies every Wednesday, 7 o'clock to 8.30 uh, uh, in the evening. Every Friday, we are having our uh, deliverance and healing services, you know, which take place in this sanctuary every Friday, 7 o'clock to 8.30, 9 o'clock, 10, even 11. Depends on how the Spirit of God takes us because it's deliverance, it's healing time. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And every Sunday is our Holy Ghost service like what we encounter today, like what we had today. Today was so glorious, was so wonderful. In fact, I am getting so excited each time we gathered in this sanctuary to serve the Lord. Hallelujah. Because now in this church, we begin to see the reality of Christ. We begin to see, you know, the reality, the reality, the benefit and who Jesus really is. We begin to see it in this church and we begin to, you know, you know, everyone getting closer to him because the world we are living right now, there is no more time. There is no more time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm just so excited because, you know, you will be so excited when you see what God is doing with your own eye. When you see what God is doing, one, in the lives of the people, two, in the church itself, and three, you know, in your own life. Hallelujah. You'll be so excited. Glory be to God. I bless you all. I bless you all under this unction. In the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. What God is doing in this ministry. Let him as well begin to touch you by his power and by his grace and mercy. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you all. Hallelujah. And of course, every uh first uh, Friday of the month we have our all night where we come together to put Satan where he belongs. Hallelujah. It's not time to be deceived anymore. Satan have deceived a lot of people. Just have an encounter with us one night. If you are living in Belgium, anywhere you are living in Belgium, no matter the village or the town where you are living, you are invited to one of our services. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. This is not the time to play church. This is not the time to say, this person is from my country or this person is my friend. Let me go to the church of this person because it's from my country. Let me go to this pastor because it's my friend or, or my family friend or whatever. This is not time for that. Hallelujah. That's why I love the message of today. And I'm going to requote. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Requote, 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 requote. Glory be to God. Amen. We had a very sound message and a wonderful service today from our Papa, our Father in the Lord, Pastor Eddie, my my, my sweet husband. Hallelujah. Ah, my, my, my honey, my sugar, my everything. Glory be to God. After God is Him in my life. Amen. Glory be to God. God has used him to really bless me and to uh, elevate my life to the state where I am today. Glory be to God. Much respect to my husband, Pastor Eddie. I love you so much. God bless you. Amen. So now back to our, uh, our topic from what our Papa taught us today. Amen. It touches my spirit. It touches my soul. And I want to bring a clue of it to, to the public. Hallelujah. It was so wonderful today. It was so glorious today in the service. It was excellent today in the service. Our Papa make us to know today that it's no time to play church. This is not the time to play church. This is not the time, you know, to put one leg in the church and one leg outside. Our Papa make us, Pastor Eddie, he make us to understand today. This is the time to be set for the kingdom of God. And he asks everyone a question that if today God should call it a day. If today God should say it is the end, you know, the last breath is taken from anyone today in the church. He throw that question across to everyone. Are you sure you are going to make heaven? That question shocking a lot of people. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. It was a question thrown to everyone in the church today. If Jesus comes today, are you going to make heaven? Glory be to God. It was a wonderful question. Hallelujah to Jesus. It's the same question I'm asking everyone that will be listening to me. If Jesus comes today, are you going to make heaven? Our Papa elaborated 
on hell today and he elaborated on heaven glory be to God he elaborated on hell and in heaven listen children of God listen people of God we are living on the end time we are living at the end time we are living at the time where Satan wants a lot of people to himself we are living at the time where Satan will bring the wrong things into the life of people hallelujah just to attract them because one thing that I believe and I know, and our papa also make us understand today in the money service, that, you know, Satan do not want to go to hell alone. He wants to draw as much people, as many people. Ah, oh my God, my father, that is where our prayer in this church every day, when we come together to pray, we begin to destabilize the power in hell, the power that is that is drawing people to hell, we destabilize them, reducing the power of hell and increasing heaven, the people going to heaven, hallelujah, how I wish somebody will join us in the spirit to be praying this prayer, glory be to God, glory, 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 Satan does not want to go to hell alone, Satan does not want to make hell alone, he wants to take as many people, as many people, and it blows my mind to see how much many Christians have been deceived by Satan, to see how much many believers have been deceived by Satan just because of little thing. Hallelujah. Just because of little thing. I will ask a question. What shall it profit you to, to gain the whole world and lose your soul in hell? What shall it profit you? Many people today, they sell their soul to Satan because of the pleasure of the world that they need. Many people, they sell their spirit, their soul, their body, their will to Satan because of what they just need. Because of their, because they are desperate. Because they, 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 some of them, they are desperate for marriage. They are desperate for marriage. Many boys, many girls, desperate for marriage. So they don't care anymore what comes their way. They don't care. You are a Christian. You are, you are, you are, you are dating or you are marrying an unbeliever. You are a Christian. You are marrying a, 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 a somebody who, who, who does not have the Holy Spirit. Can't you see that you are heading to hell? Can't you see that you are already on hell, in hell here on earth? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Many people, they have been drawn, you know, to the kingdom of darkness because they need money, because they want money, they want to make wealth. At their, at their young age, they want to make wealth. So because of that, they sell their soul, their spirit, their body, everything about them, they sell to the devil. They say, devil, you can have me, I just need money. But they forget to understand one thing, that when Satan gives you money today, tomorrow he will kill you on time to make sure you don't live to enjoy that money. And when you die in that state, hell is just waiting. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Many people, they sell, uh, they, they, they sell themselves. You know, you are not married. Begin to uh, live here and there with different people, fornicating here and there. Why? Because you, you, you want to make money. You want to make quick money selling your body. You know, selling your body for men. You are a young lady selling your body for men. You know, just to make money. Hallelujah. That is why there are a lot of sicknesses and diseases all over today. Glory be to God. Glory. People, a lot of people don't want to do this God's way. And what baffles my mind is that most of these people, they are Christians. They are Christian. Listen, when unbelievers are doing those things, if they don't repent and come to Christ, for them, it's condemned already. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. But what we are talking about here are the people who are already in the Christendom. Glory be to God. The Bible says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. For lack of knowledge. For lack of knowledge. The people God is talking about here, they are not the unbelievers. They are the Christian. Many Christians are destroyed destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Not that there is no knowledge. They receive knowledge, but they reject it. They don't want to accept knowledge because they feel that is heavy for them to, 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 to take. Hallelujah. We are living in the end time. We are living in the end time. So we should not allow Satan to deceive us out of God's will and way because of just a temporal pressure. Pleasure. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our Papa today make us to understand that in heaven, for those of you that are going into wrong marriages, for those of you that are making wrong relationship, wrong decision, because you 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 feel oh I I I want to marry, I just want to be called a married man or a married woman. So it doesn't matter who I am marrying, it doesn't matter what I am marrying. Many people are marrying many things today. Hallelujah. Anyone that is not in Christ, I call them a teen. Hallelujah. If, if you are a man, you are marrying a woman that is not in Christ, I call you a teen. If you are a man, you are marrying, you are a woman, you are marrying a man that is not in Christ, I call you a teen. Hallelujah. Because there is a way that seemeth right unto a person, but the end is death and destruction. So what shall it profit you? Just getting yourself yoked together with, with, with unbeliever. Yoke your soul, your spirit together with unbeliever. And the things of God does not matter to you anymore. God himself does not matter to you anymore. Hallelujah. Because you can't yoke yourself together with an unbeliever and tell me that you are still serious with God. You know, because when a man and a woman come together, 
for sexual intercourse, you know, that they, 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 there is exchange of spirit. There is exchange of spirit. Hallelujah. There is exchange of spirit. What, what is in the woman we enter into the man? What is in the man we enter into the woman? Hallelujah. So if who you are marrying is a wiggler, if who you are marrying is not a believer, it's not a Christian, it's not a prayerful person, it's not a person that carries the Holy Ghost. Listen, our pastor told us today that there is no 50-50. If you miss hell, you cannot miss heaven. And if you miss heaven, you can never miss hell. Hallelujah. So you choose one. Anyone that miss heaven automatically is going to hell. And anyone that miss hell is automatically going to heaven. That is the issue of life and that is the way life goes. When you are married to the wrong person because of the pleasure that you need now. Hallelujah. The moment you yoke yourself together with the person, things will begin to go wrong for you. This will begin to go wrong for you because if you marry an unbeliever, definitely it's not the Holy Spirit in the life of that person. It's going to be demons. There is no 50-50. I don't know why people have been deceived. Amen. The truth is just too open. Glory be to God. As Christians, as believers, we have to know the truth. And the truth that we know and we apply, we set us free. When you know the truth and you put it to work, you will be free forever. Hallelujah. Knowing fully that the Bible says we should not yoke ourselves together with unbelievers. Hallelujah. So it baffles me to see that believers begin to go for unbelievers. Hallelujah. For marriage. And yet they'll be complaining that things are not okay. It might be. Things might be okay for you now because Satan wants to attract you to himself. Satan wants to make things be okay for you. But wait for him at the end. Hallelujah. I strongly believe and I know with every fiber of my being. When Satan gives you cap. He will allow you to put that cap in your head for some time. So that you think that, oh, he has given you something good. But after a few times, he will take your head. You will have the cap, but no head to put it. And that is why the Bible says that whatever Satan gives to people, or whatever people get through Satan, it comes with sorrow. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. So we are living in the time whereby we have to listen to the Spirit of God. We have to listen to God's word. We have to listen to what God is telling us by his word and from his word. We have to listen to, you know, to, 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 to sound teachings that will transform and change our life and direct us the right way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When Jesus comes, where is he going to find you? When Jesus comes, where, where, where will you be? Hallelujah. Where will you be? Where, where, where are you going at the end of the day? Amen. We are just strangers here on earth. We have to know that. Today our papa preach about hell. He preach about heaven. He make us to understand the difference between hell and heaven. And he make us to understand that what make people to go to hell and what make people to go to heaven. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. We are living in the end time. We have to know that. We are living in the end time. A lot of people have been deceived today with one doctrine or the other. A lot of people today, their mind is being manipulated. A lot of people today, they have been lied to by many doctrines and traditions you know, of, you know, of different kinds and different religion and, 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 and a lot of things and so on and so forth. Hallelujah. But I'm here to agree to them with the Holy Ghost and with the message my father in the Lord, Pastor Eddie, my husband, preached today in the church. I'm here to agree that Jesus Christ is our everything and the blood that Jesus shed on the cross of Calvary is our everything. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. The blood of Jesus speaks better things. The blood of Jesus speaks better things. Allow the blood of Jesus to speak better things into your life. Allow the blood of Jesus to speak good marriage into, 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 into your life. Allow the blood of Jesus to speak prosperity into your life. Allow the blood of Jesus to bring to bring good marriage into your life, to bring good prosperity into your life, to bring long life into your life, to bring anything that you wish to have or become into your life. There is power in the blood of Jesus. There is power in the blood of Jesus. There is salvation in the blood of Jesus. There is deliverance in the blood of Jesus. There is healing in the blood of Jesus. There is long life in the blood of Jesus. Every good thing is in the blood of Jesus. Now listen to me, people of God. There is nothing the blood of Jesus cannot offer to you. There is nothing you cannot get by the blood of Jesus and through the blood of Jesus and in the blood of Jesus. There is no good life that you can't get in the blood of Jesus. When you are standing on the blood of Jesus on a daily basis to make every move you make, to do everything that you do, hallelujah, you will not be misled. You will not say you don't know what to do. For the Bible says the blood of Jesus speaks a better thing. Let us go to the word of God. Hallelujah. Let's go to the word of God. This is the scripture also with other scriptures that our papa today in the morning service uh, 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 taught us. But I'm only going to take this because of time. Hallelujah. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 24. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 24. Hallelujah. This is for people, Christians that are confused. This is for Christians who thinks, who don't know, who, who thinks that life is difficult. 
Life is not difficult. It's just Satan is lying to people on a daily basis. Satan is lying to people on a daily basis. There is power in the blood of Jesus. So my topic for you today is the power in the blood of Jesus. The power in the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now I read Hebrews chapter 12 verse 24. Hebrews 12 24. It said, And to Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant, and to the blood of sprinkling, that speaketh better things than that of a dead. Ah, my God, my God. Listen, he said unto Jesus for the mediator of the new covenant. Jesus is our mediator. Jesus is our mediator. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus has bought us with his blood. You, you, all, all you need to know is to recognize and to know it. There is nothing you can't get by the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is power and fire to the kingdom of darkness. The blood of Jesus, the Bible says when Jesus died, oh my God, my God, my God. When the blood of Jesus touches the earth, everyone that died many years ago, they all came out. The earth shook. When they nailed Jesus to the cross of Calvary, when the blood touches the earth, in other words, when the blood, the blood of Jesus touches the ground, the earth quake. Can you see the whole earthquake just for a, a, a single blood of Jesus that touches the ground? Just for a single blood of Jesus that touches the ground. When he was nailed on the cross, as the blood touches, just a strand of the blood touches the ground, the whole earth shake. Do you know what? The whole earth could not stand the blood of Jesus. And everyone that died many, 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 many years ago, that has become bone, skeleton in the grave, everyone rise up and they begin to walk in the street of Jerusalem. They begin to walk. Everyone rise up. Ah, you see, whatever is dead in your life, you have, I have good news for you today. The blood of Jesus will bring it back to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The blood of Jesus can buy anything. The blood of Jesus is the highest currency that we have. Hallelujah. Many people are running after euro. Many people are running after dollar, after pounds, after uh, whichever country you came from. Hallelujah. Many people are running, you know, after all this currency. Let me tell you, the blood of Jesus is the highest currency. What do you want to achieve? Instead of making wrong choices and wrong decisions, use the blood of Jesus to buy right things into your life. The good things into your life. For the Bible says, let me read it to you again. The Bible says, it says, And to Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant, and to the blood of sprinkling that speaketh better things. In all that was, when you sprinkle the blood of Jesus on your body, and you use the blood of Jesus to buy out your destiny that has been dead for long, your glory that the enemy stole and they put in one corner. Ah, use the blood of Jesus Christ to buy it out again. Use the blood of Jesus Christ to bring it out again. There is no kingdom of darkness that can hold anything that belongs to you. When you release the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth against them. When you use the blood of Jesus that was shed on the cross of Calvary. Oh my God, my God, my God, my God. This is so powerful. This is so, this is so wonderful. This is excellent. It's glorious. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is power in the blood of Jesus Christ. There is power in the blood of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus Christ will never fail anybody. The blood of Jesus Christ never fail. The blood of Jesus Christ never disappoint. The blood of Jesus Christ never Never, 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 you know, it's not, there is nothing, there, there is nothing rotting in the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus, listen to the word of God. He said, he said, he said, he said, and to the blood of sprinkling that speaketh better things, better things. Can you see why many Christians are moving from glory to glory? Many Christians are moving from success, victory to victory. Hallelujah to Jesus Christ. But there is something Satan will not want you to agree with the blood of Jesus. That is the situation. Satan wants to manipulate your mind to tell you you can get this done your own way. You can get this done the way you want it. It doesn't matter. You have to apply the blood or you have to. You don't need all that. That is what Satan tells to people. That is how Satan lies to people. But I'm here to tell you that if paraventure you have been suffering, paraventure you know that you, you, you feel there is no more hope for you. Begin to use the blood of Jesus from today. Begin to use the blood of Jesus from today. And I'm going to agree with everyone that will be listening to me. As I release the blood of Jesus right from this office, into your home, into your working places, into your your, 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 your destiny or whatever you are doing, as you listen 
listening to me, please share this video. Share this video because what I'm about to pray with everyone today, you will get results because the blood of Jesus never fail. The blood of Jesus never fail. The blood of Jesus never disappoint. Listen, the Bible says when the blood of Jesus drop on the ground, when they when they when they when they pierce him to the cross, when they when they nail him to the cross, just a strand of the blood fell on the ground, the whole head shake, shake, shake. Power just on just a single blood that fell on the ground. Power, the whole earth shake. And everyone that died many, 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 many years, they all begin to get up from their grave. They all begin to get up from their grave and they were now walking as if they were never dead before. So, paraventure, you know, whatever the enemy has taken from you, whatever has been dead in your life, whatever destiny that the enemy, your destiny that they exchange, your glory that they exchange, someone exchanged your glory, gave you shame and begin to use your glorious destiny, whatever goods, any, any good thing that is in your life that the enemy has taken from you, whatever has been dead in your life today, as I release the blood of Jesus Christ into your home, begin to get back every good thing that has been dead in your life. I use the blood of Jesus to buy back your head. I use the blood of Jesus Christ to buy back your life. I use the blood of Jesus Christ to buy back your destiny to you. I use the blood of Jesus Christ to buy, you know, your wealth, all your, all your, your, your glory, you know, your destiny, your God-given glory that the enemy stole. Ah, they stole your glory. They stole your glory today. You that is watching me, as you are listening to me, as you are listening to me, the blood of Jesus that was shed on the cross of Calvary, I use it to buy out your glorious destiny from the kingdom of darkness and I give it back to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You that has, you, you know, you, 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 have, you are very intelligent. You are very, very intelligent. You have done all what it takes. You do everything. You went to school like no, like no man's business. You have your diploma. You have your degree, but there is no job. There is no job. All the job you can find is, is the job that you don't really want to do. You don't want to. That is, that is, that is the spirit of setback and shame. You went to school, you have a diploma, you have, you, have, you have what it takes to be, you know, in a better position in the society to be recognized because that is, when you, that is why you went to school. But after the school, Satan allowed you to go to all the school and all, to get your diploma, to get your certificate, to get your PhD, your master's or whatever you have. Satan allowed you to get it after then. He made sure that you don't get anything good with it. He made sure that you don't get the job that you read in the school with it. He made sure that it's not what you study in school that you are doing right now. He diverted the hey, 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 by the blood of Jesus that was shed on the cross of Calvary. I decree and I declare today. And I release that blood into your God-given job, into your God-given work in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You that went to school, you are still roaming about like you didn't go to school. Your certificate is just, is, is, is just in your box today. I say that devil is a liar. I use the blood of Jesus Christ to buy out, to buy out your God-given job and I give it to you in the name of Jesus. You that is listening to me right now, you are so beautiful. You are a young girl. You are beautiful, but the people that are coming to you to ask your hand in marriage, you know, there, there are people that are that are, that are are not serious for life. There are people that, that does not love God. They are not even serious with themselves today in the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus Christ. I buy out your God-given marriage in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I declare and I declare that the blood of Jesus will bring the right man into your life in the mighty name of Jesus. And of course you are a man. Ah, very handsome man. Very handsome man. And no good woman. You, can, you cannot you cannot rapport with a good woman. A good woman that is a woman that fear the Lord. A woman that, 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 that love God. You cannot find such a woman. All the women you are just getting is in the club, in the party, in the disco. Any woman you get in the party, you are also going to end her up in the party. Any woman you get in the club, Many people are going to be coming to your home. Your home will become a, a, a hotel. Even if you marry such a woman, many people have already known her in the club. Your home is going to turn to a hotel. So you have to, if if if, if a, a godly, you do you didn't find a godly, a godly wife today by the blood of Jesus that was shed on the cross of Calvary. Ah, I decree and I declare that the blood of Jesus Christ will bring the right woman into your life. Not a woman that will frustrate your life, not a woman that will bring minus to your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let the blood of Jesus bring the right woman to your life for marriage in the name of Jesus Christ. Many people don't understand. Many people don't understand. When you have the wrong spouse for marriage, if you are a man, you have the wrong woman for marriage. You are already in hell, here on earth. And of course, if you are a woman, you have the wrong husband. You have the wrong man for marriage. You are already here on earth, in hell. You are already here in hell. In here. It's already hell for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But when you are married to the right spouse, 
when you are married to the right spouse, you will see that, you know, the glory of God will be radiating in your marriage and in the lives of your children, in everything that you lay your hands to do, because God is interested in those that have sound and healthy marriage. Hallelujah. So that is why I'm releasing the blood of Jesus Christ. Every, every diversion that the enemy has uh, uh, bring into your life today. I use the blood of Jesus to repair your life again. I use the blood of Jesus to bring better things. Look at what the Bible says. He said the blood of Jesus speaking better things than the blood of, 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 of Abel. The blood of Jesus speaking better things. The hallelujah. The blood of Jesus speaking better things. Glory be to God. I declare and I declare that this unsure that the blood of Jesus Christ, it will make you to have the right person in your life. We make you to have the, the right children in your life. We make you to have good things to do in your life. Hallelujah. Whatever has been dead in your life, whatever has not been working in your life, you don't have a good job, you don't have a good marriage, you don't have godly children, you don't have good life, you don't have money, you don't have good health. Today, I use the blood of Jesus Christ to buy all these things out from the kingdom of that land. The blood of Jesus Christ to buy you good health now. I release a good health upon you by the blood of Jesus Christ. Your good health that the enemy has exchanged like they did for Job. They exchange it, but God Almighty by his power and if he let mercy, he restored back to Job today. I connect to the blood of Jesus Christ. Whatever has been dead in your life, receive it back in the name of Jesus Christ. By the blood of Jesus, receive your life back. By the blood of Jesus, receive your destiny back. By the blood of Jesus, receive your glory back. By the blood of Jesus, receive your finance back. By the blood of Jesus, receive the blood of Jesus, receive right now your marriage, your son marriage back in the mighty name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that nightmare, I use the blood of Jesus Christ. Wherever it has been orchestrated from, wherever it has been sent from, by the blood of Jesus that was shed on the cross of Calvary, let every nightmare in your life be nullified, destabilized, rendered powerless and useless. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. There is power in the blood of Jesus. From today, from today, you don't need to suffer. From today, you don't need to be a beggar. From today, you don't need to, to live a life of, ah, I, I'm not getting what I want. So let me just go for anything. No, as a child of God, you have a taste. As a child of God, you know what you want. As a child of God, you should want the best and the, the, the best. Now, to get the best is by the blood of Jesus. Maybe you didn't hear me. Maybe you didn't hear me. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 24. He said, and to Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant, and to the blood of sprinkling. Sprinkling means, you know, you take the blood, you begin to sprinkle in your, in your house, in your home, everything. To the blood of sprinkling that speaketh better things, better things than the blood of Abel. Ha! The blood of Jesus Christ from today will speak better things into your life. The blood of Jesus Christ today will speak prosperity into your life. The blood of Jesus today will bring prosperity into your life. By the blood of Jesus today receive prosperity. By the blood of Jesus today receive good life. By the blood of Jesus today receive sound mind. By the blood of Jesus from today receive the power to study the word of God. Receive the power to understand God's word. And receive the power to do his work will and walk hallelujah don't forget we are living in the end time don't be deceived stay input where you are hallelujah ask god ask god ask god where you ought to be and be there and serve god genuinely with your spirit soul and body god is looking for vessels to use he said the harvest is right but the 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 the, 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 the people to do the work are very few hallelujah god is looking for a vessel that will say yes lord here i am use me feel me hallelujah god God is looking for vessels. We are in the end time. We are in the end time. God said that at the, at, 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 at the end, he will pour out his spirit upon all flesh. Upon all flesh. Hallelujah. Be a part of those that will receive the spirit of God in this end time. Hallelujah. If you miss heaven, you cannot miss hell. It's just these two things. There is no 50-50. You can't put one leg in the, in, the, in the kingdom of God and one leg in the kingdom of Satan. It's just one. It's just one. And I will advise that everyone listening to the sound of my voice today, give your life to Christ genuinely. Serve Jesus genuinely. And begin to apply the blood of Jesus. Serve God genuinely. Nothing is difficult. Nothing is hard for God to do. The Bible said the blood of Jesus speaks better thing. That is why I'm here to give you this key today. Hallelujah. It will work for you like never before. You begin to see miracles upon your life. Those things that is making you to think that God is far from you. Just begin to apply the blood of Jesus Christ. Speak it better things. Hallelujah. What do you want in life? It's in the blood of Jesus. What do you want to become? It's in the blood of Jesus. Begin to sprinkle the blood of Jesus. Begin to use the blood of Jesus Christ to demand 
what rightly belongs to you and Satan will release it. There is something that Satan can't stand in the life of a believer. Satan cannot stand the blood of Jesus in the life of a believer. Satan can't stand it. Satan can't stand it. He knew the power in that blood. He knew what it means to have that blood. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May the Almighty God bless everyone today. May God keep you. May God begin to shine His face upon you in the name of Jesus. Please share. Share this message, share and like in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. This is about the blood of Jesus. Share to your contact, share to Facebook. Put it on Facebook. Give us your like. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Share to your friends. Hallelujah. Let them know that they don't need all that negative things in their mind. The blood of Jesus is available for them. Hallelujah. It's not a difficult thing. It's not a task. You just begin to use it and sprinkle it in your body. You wake up in the morning. You say, I cover my spirit, soul, and body with the blood of Jesus. I cover my work today with the blood of Jesus. Everything that is dead in my life, I use the blood of Jesus. You that has been looking for a job, you have a good certificate. You don't have job. You don't have job with that certificate begin to use the blood of Jesus Begin if you know our phone number, contact us and I will agree with you hallelujah, you will see wherever your job is, you will get it in the name of Jesus Christ, in this ministry we are not playing, and Satan knows we are not playing Satan knows us, we put him where he belongs on a daily basis, hallelujah hallelujah, glory be to God may God keep you and may God Almighty bless you I cover you all with the blood of Jesus please share this message, share to your contact share to everyone, in Jesus name shalom God bless you.